Let's leave it at that and shift our focus to more news coming in. The Chandrayaan-3 has successfully entered the moon orbit after a 41-day voyage to the lunar south pole. ISRO has unveiled the initial images of the moon as captured and viewed by Chandrayaan-3. The spacecraft successfully underwent a planned orbit reduction maneuver, bringing it even closer to the moon's surface. Now, this remarkable milestone represents a significant advancement in ISRO's ambitious rupees 600 crore mission. The space agency is scheduled to conduct the next operation to further lower Chandrayaan-3's orbit on August 9. Dharani joins me live to help us with details. Dharani, it is indeed a big success for ISRO as Chandrayaan-3 enters the moon orbit after a 41-day voyage to the lunar south pole. And uh, just the ISRO has also unveiled the initial images of the moon as captured and viewed by Chandrayaan-3. It's definitely a major feat for the Indian Space Research Organization. Uh, Chandrayaan-3 has successfully entered uh, the lunar orbit and uh, uh, you know, the further maneuvering uh, will uh, take Chandrayaan-3, you know, lower uh, the lunar orbit further. And at last, on August 23, Chandrayaan-3 is expected to make a soft landing uh, near the south pole of the moon. And this will make India the only country, the only ever country to uh, make a, a landing uh, near the south pole of the moon. Because the previous countries, that is the US, uh, Russia and uh, uh, you know, uh, China, they have not, uh, you know, reached out to the south pole of the moon edge. Uh, their spacecrafts uh, were mostly, uh, you know, placed elsewhere. Uh, you know, so we'll be the first country to ever land a spacecraft in the south pole of the moon if this mission uh, turns out to be a success. And until this point in time, we're given to understand uh, from scientists that is row that uh, Chandrayaan-3 is completely on track. There is no deviation from its original trajectory. Uh, Chandrayaan-3 is traveling in the planned trajectory, you know, exactly where it is supposed to travel and... Uh, and uh, now uh, the lunar maneuvering is also taking place. So uh, as uh, next uh, three to four rounds of uh, maneuvering takes place, uh, you know, uh, the Chandrayaan uh, threes, uh, you know, uh, the lunar orbital, uh, uh, you know, space that will lower further. And then finally on uh, uh, August 23, uh, the spacecraft is expected to make its a soft landing near the South Pole. So that is something that we have to, you know, uh, we're all waiting for August 23 is the date that we are, you know, all waiting for. And, you know, uh, the uh, the uh, outputs that we're able to take from Chandrayaan-3, this will uh, play a very major role in our next moon mission, that is the Gaganyaan. Uh, Gaganyaan is our uh, manned moon mission that is uh, uh, taking shape at the moment. Uh, uh, team at ISRO is, uh, you know, a day and night, they're working for this Gaganyaan mission. That will be our first uh, manned moon uh, mission. And uh, the, the outputs that we're able to get from Chandrayaan-3, they will directly be used in the Gaganyaan mission. Uh, these outputs will play a very significant role in the uh, planning and uh, the launch of uh, the Gaganyaan mission is what uh, uh, earlier uh, ISRO chief uh, Somnath had told us in an exclusive interview. So, you know, uh, this mission success is not only important for this mission, but also it's important for the Gaganyaan mission too. Uh, so we're all looking forward to that, uh, you know, day that is August 23. And now uh, the lunar maneuvering is currently taking place as Chandrayaan-3 has uh, uh, successfully entered the lunar orbit and uh, you know, as uh, further right. maneuvering takes place, uh, the uh, the right. uh, Chandrayaan three will uh, you know uh, fall lower Absolutely. into the uh, orbit area and finally land. Right, Dharani rightly said and uh, thank you for also getting us the details as far as Chandrayaan-3 uh, is concerned. A successful lunar orbit uh, insertion has been done by the ISRO, releasing the first images of the moon captured by Chandrayaan-3. We will uh, come back and discuss more on uh, the Chandrayaan-3 and its uh, success, but uh, let's leave it at that and shift our focus.